Ya. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahillahi rabbil alamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala asyrafil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul 'uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. Subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma 'allamtana innaka antal alimul hakim wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billahil aliyyil azim. Amma ba'd. Wa hayyukum bi tahiyyatil Islam. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam <coughs> warahmatullahi. Uh, thank you uh, our brother. <coughs> uh, alhamdulillah uh, uh, thanks to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala for his blessing uh, we are here. It is not actually um, our plan but this is Allah plan uh, <coughs> and Allah plan is uh, is the best plan. <coughs> okay uh, uh, last week uh, we did discuss about uh definition characteristic uh, of a uh, world view in in general uh, in in general you know i receive a few questions uh maybe <coughs> you know uh, i can highlight here uh you know when i see uh glass you know glass glass uh, it means uh, spectacles uh, spectacle <laughs> some people they think that uh, maybe glass uh, glass in malay is cup <laughs> uh, so it is uh, it is spectacle you know this world view is like a a spectacle you know if if you wear a green uh, spectacle then everything will look green <laughs> if you wear islamic uh, world view meaning that islamic uh, glass islamic spectacle meaning that you should see from islamic perspective some people they keep changing the their world view their their spectacle you know if it is uh, beneficial to them uh, they take it if it is not uh, beneficial they remove it uh, so this is not supposed to happen nah afatu minu nabi ba'dil kitab wa takfuru nabi ba'd do you believe in one part of the kitab and disbelieve in the other parts now allah question us you know because we take islam according to our desire desire eh? actually our desire our desire should follow islam not islam follow our desire desire that is supposed to have to happen inshallah so this week uh, islamic world view definition characteristic source of knowledge we will see what is Uh, spe- uh, specifically islamic world view huh? okay <clears throat> so the definition of islamic world view uh, in arabic eh? in arabic ru'yatul uh, islam lil so literal translation is the view ru'yah means the view ra'a from the word ra'a the view of islam uh, lil wujud uh, wujud means uh, you know as long as things exist then islam take into consideration uh, whether seen or unseen for example ghaib zahir or batin um, as soon as it exists then islam will come in islam will step in meaning that islam is very comprehend comprehensive nothing left in in islam yeah? nothing left in islam that's why alhamdulillah uh, our religion is is uh, shumul is comprehend comprehensive uh, everything you need you know you can find it in in islam uh, some people they said oh, ustad can we have a uh, certain cookies in in the quran for example huh? certain cookies in the quran i say yes there is a uh, you know cookies in the quran but where is that oh in the quran allah said fasalu ahla zikri in kuntum la ta'lamun ask those who are expert if you do not know yes it is in the quran but of course if if the quran mention all the type of the cookies then we have one library quran only <laughs> then even a small quran we cannot recite but small uh, it is a, a thick and a big al quran huh? so this is uh, uh, what we call this lil uh, wujud and so differentiate we differentiate between lil kaun count only limited to universe physical universe but when we mention the word wujud it is uh, it is uh, it, com- it comprise all that exists uh, all that exists so that reflect the shumul the comprehensiveness of uh, what they call this uh, islamic world world view okay islamic world view encompasses the issues of uh, universe uh, prophethood uh, prophethood nubuwa society a man and also the here the hereafter uh, this dunya and also akhi akhirah so eh? okay it is not a world view that is formed merely based on amalgamation uh, so i i 
actually I, I put the meaning eh, so that you are not uh, asking me any anymore. <laughs> so it is not a worldview that is formed merely based on amalgamation. My pros, I hope my pronunciation is correct. What is uh, amalgamation? It means combination or merging. So, you know, they, sometimes it is a created worldview. You know, you take from this, you you remove this, you uh, bring this, and then, then it becomes worldview. No, Islam is not based on on that uh, merging uh, from different worldview. No, Islam is not based on, on the Islam is not created uh, from that. Or historical concoction. Concoction, you know, you see the translation is historical creation, meaning that Islam is what they call this, uh, uh, what it means, uh, matched through history. No, Islam is, it does not follow that, pro that process. Uh, Islam is not developed through his history. Islam is a reveal uh, of various cultural values. Rather, it is well-established framework derived from the revelation and interpreted based on Muslim scholars throughout Islamic history. So Islam is based on uh, reveal, revelation. Uh, be, uh, you know, it means guidance uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then uh, being interpreted by Muslim scholars uh, throughout Islamic, Islamic history. So meaning that uh, does Islam involve the uh, mind? Yes, as long as it is in line with the with the true sources, which is Al-Quran and, and Hadith. Whatever against uh, Al-Quran and Hadith, then it is out uh, from, is, from Islam. So this is uh, actually the, uh, the basis of uh, Islamic world worldview. It is based on uh, revela revelation, wahyu. Eh? When we say wahyu, it is not only refers to Quran, but it also refers to as -sun as sunnah eh? Because Al-Quran said, وَمَا يَنْتِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَى إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوهَا It is not his words. Actually, it is being inspired uh, by, by wah, by wahyu. Huh? Okay. <clears throat> this frame of reference provides us with correct and consistent answers. Uh, so it's not only consistent, but in, in Islam, the most important is correct. It is based on truth. Uh, it is based on truth. Huh? To the ultimate question, pertains to the issues of God, the issues of God. This is the most basic, from the fundamental. You know, in any religious worldview, the issues is uh, the most number one is the issues of of God. Islam, you know, give a correct what they call this uh, perception, correct worldview about about God. Allahu yeah? ahad, Allahus samad, lam yalid, walam yulad, walam yakullahu kufwan ahad. Uh, so meaning that if you want to know about God, uh, that is the, uh, the the Islamic what they call it the true the true God. Uh, the rest uh, is 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 a false uh, God. Uh, La ilaha illallah. Uh, there is no other God than Allah, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Uh, <coughs> okay. So uh, about the unseen, about the ghaib also. What what happened after death? What happened uh, in Akhirah, for example? What happened, uh, you know, meaning that uh, beyond beyond death. So when we talk about, let's say, for example, about about long term planning. Uh, when we talk about long term planning, you know, in some people talk about, you know, if you want to plan ten years, in ten for ten years you plan. Some people they go very long for fifty years. You know, they plan already their life, but in Islam actually you plan even longer. That is. Even after death, you need to plan now. Where are you going? Whether you are you are returning to your home, which is a jannah, or you will get lost uh, in 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 nar, for example, in 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 the in the hell. Meaning that we have we have to uh, to plan from from now. Meaning that Islam has a very long long term plan planning that we should we should plan. Eh? Man, about man, who is man? Uh, who is man? When we talk about man, we talk about our, ourselves. Who am I? Islam, you know, tell us very, very clear uh, about who am I? What is our meaning of life? Uh, then, uh, yeah, and then universe, you know, about this world. Uh, what is this world? What is the use of this world? 
you know what is the purpose of this world and so islam uh, explain clear clearly and this life this life means uh, what i call this uh, our our life the worst worldly worldly life so everything is is explained in a correct way and in in and in consistent consistent ways huh? <clears throat> You know some, you know uh, uh, some are consistent and but not not correct. For example, you know uh, let's say for example, uh, God. You know when we see God, God must be. You know this is the character of, the characteristic of God. God should be free. God should be free from any any weaknesses. Huh? God should be free from any any weaknesses. But in some religion, God died. For example, so this against uh, the very foundation of the concept of of god that's why in islam uh, uh, you know when we talk about let's say about the uh, crucifixion of the of jesus let's say for example that jesus in islam is not is not dead eh? jesus is being what they call this uh, uh, brought uh, by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, brought up by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he will be written Uh, again yeah he will be written written again yeah? to perceive that that uh, nabi isa jesus is dead this uh, again uh, you know you know if if we say that uh, jesus is god how could he he died that's why in islam uh, jesus is is not a uh, dead yeah? jesus is is only the messenger like other messengers of allah subhanahu now taala but he he you know he is being lift up uh, by allah subhanahu now taala Hmm? Okay. <clears throat> It also guides man as a vice student of Allah to the correct belief system, Sharia, and ethical values. So Islam guides yeah, us, uh, man. You know, because we are very limited in terms of our akal. Our akal is very limited. So Islam guides us in terms of belief system. What should we believe? How should we believe? What should be in our uh, what they call our mind? So Islam uh, guide us uh, in terms of Sharia, for example, uh, the worship, for example, the ibadah. You know, uh, yeah, Islam guide us uh, uh, without left, uh, without uh, what they call this uh, living uh, any anything, and even ethical values also. Uh, Islam uh, become our gu- uh, guidance. Islam become our guide. Meaning that you know, Alhamdulillah, uh, Islam is 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 the most uh, comprehensive. worldview and uh, the most comprehensive really religion and uh, the only uh, we can say from islamic point of view i'm talking about from from as a muslim islam is 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 the only uh, true really religion uh, the only true religion inna dina inna dina indallah islam inna din the 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 only religion accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is Islam. Uh, those who take other than Islam, meaning that uh, they are not being accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. The worldview of Islam encompasses both a dunya and akhirah. Uh, you know, this is, uh, you know, they call it uh, dualism. You know, in the West, uh, normally, uh, you know, they are being uh, what they call this... Uh, Uh, you know the way of thinking is being uh, influenced by dualism. Eh? Du- dualism means two: uh, uh, dunya or akhirah. Which one is more important, dunya or akhirah? They they call either or, either or. Which one is more important, uh, uh, dunya or akhirah? Uh, akal or wahyu? Uh, what else? Um, objective or subjective? Yeah? This is what we call either or way of think, thinking, which is actually very uh, secularized and uh, very dualist, dualistic. But in Islam, actually, both are important. There will be no akhirah without dun, dunya because dunya is mazra'atul akhirah. A dunya uh, mazra'atul akhirah, the farm for akhir, akhirah. In our life in this dunya will be will determine. Our life in the akhir, akhirah. You know, our Quran and akal. So, you know, meaning that you know which one is. If I ask the student, then which one is is more important, uh, akal or uh, Quran? I mean, they said yes, our uh, Quran is very important. I understand uh, 
uh, the logic behind the answer that Al Quran is is more important than than akal. But uh, you know, without akal, without akal, then no taklif, no taklif. You don't need even to pray. You know, meaning that Al Quran become meaningless to those who have no ah akal. So meaning that akal is the prerequisite. For what I call for reve- revelation, if you don't have akal, then revelation become meaning meaningless. That's how. That's why uh, the mo- uh, the first among the first the most important condition for taklif is akil, akil and balik. So uh, otherwise, you know, you can kill people. You can do whatever you want if you if you have a if you don't have a akal. So meaning the akal is very impo- important. But of course, when there is a a contradiction between the two between akal and the wahyu of course the priority uh, goes to wahyu because akal is very limi- limited and eh? because the limitation of akal then you know sometimes if there is conflict so the priority uh, meaning that it should be given to uh, to wah- wahyu because wahyu is unlimited unlimited eh? okay in which the dunya aspect must be inextricably linked to akhirah aspect and in which the akhirah aspect has the ultimate and final significance. Of course, akhirah is very impo- important and, and also dunya also very impo- important. Uh, but, you know, uh, if you talk about the degrees of importance, of course, uh, you know, uh, akhirah is, then if there is conflict between, you know, in this dunya, you know, it, uh, you, you are having a conflict between a responsibility of dunya and responsibility of uh, uh, akhirah, for example, then uh, the priority should go to akhir, akhirah. Huh? But, but actually, uh, dunya is related to akhir, akhirah. Huh? Dunya is related to uh, akhirah. Hmm? Because akhirah is our real home. Here, dunya is our tran- transit, you know, like our hotel. You know, this is our hotel. We stop temporarily at the hotel uh, on the way home. On the way, on the way home. Of course, you don't bother too much with the hotel. You know, you should focus on your on your home. You know, uh, we are not crying leaving the hotel. You know, and those people who are crying leaving the hotel, how could you know they go? And then they want to they want to make it the most comfortable. They they are on journey when they stop at the hotel. They want to furnish them. They want to put everything in the hotel as if, as if uh, the hotel is their uh, their destination. No, the hotel is not our destination. We are only uh, uh, doing uh, the transit on the other at the hotel. So the same thing with dunya. Dunya is only a transit. You know, we shouldn't let's say for example focus on this dunya till we ignore it, for example take for granted marginalize the akhir, akhirah. What we should focus is that you know, whatever we do in this dunya will be beneficial in, akhir, in akhirah. Now, whatever we do, uh, we, are, we should think in the way that we pass it to akhir, akhirah. This is our account to our home. This is our what it means to make our home comfort, comfortable. Sometimes we do things in, in this dunya by destroying our home in akhirah. For example, you destroy your real home in akhirah. And akhirah, you burn it, your home, for example. Huh? <clears throat> akhirah is our desti- destination, our home. We are originally from, from paradise. Paradise is our real home. That's why Allah said the word irji'i. Irji'i means return. It doesn't say go. Go means from one destination to the new destination. When Allah said irji'i, meaning that you are coming from here, you return back. Irji'i ila rabbiki radiyatan maradiyah Meaning that we are from Close to Allah From Allah Then we return to Our real home Which is para paradise yeah? My dear brothers and, uh, and sisters in, in, uh, in Islam <coughs> The main elements of Islamic worldview So these are the main elements uh, Of course uh, time is uh, very limited We cannot go uh, into detail But just I list it uh, uh, so the main element of Islamic worldview, number one, of course, uh, it is about God. This is the most important. This is the most important in our life, because what? Because we are created by God. We are created by Allah and for Allah. Remember, 
we are created by Allah and for Allah. Anything that go against this, meaning that we put ourselves in trap, in trouble. We put ourselves in in trouble. You know, be careful. You know, don't divert from our own, our real purpose. In nasalati wa nusuki wa mahiyya wa mamati lillahi rabbil alamin. Yeah, and then we have to know about about God. This is the most important our problem today because because we are away from from Allah Subhanahu wa taala. Huh? You know this problem of uh, what they call this mental health and everything. You know, you know this uh, uh, test, for example, tribulation. This is uh, you know this is uh, uh, what they call this uh, sunnatullah. It happens you know during. All times, you know, this test and tribulation, it happened. The most important thing is, you know, we are created weak. And because we are weak, then we go, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Be with Allah, then you become, you become strong. But if you are away from Allah, then you become weak. What else we want? Allah has everything. Allah has everything. Everything you want to be, what they call this, uh, honored. Allah is the most honored, huh? Al Karim. So if you are with Allah, then you will be honored also. Uh, uh, start. I want to be rich. So be with the most rich, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala Al Ghani. When you are with Allah, you also become rich. What else do you want? I want to be uh, clever. Start. I want to be. Clever Ustaz. So be with Al Alim, if the most uh, knowledgeable that is Allah. Then if you have Allah, you have everything. But if you have everything without Allah, actually you have not nothing. This is very impo- important. The concept of God that we must we must know. Uh, we must know. <clears throat> and number two, the concept of Wahyu Al Qur Al Quran, which is uh, and also Al. Al Hadith. Eh? We should know. Also, we should study. Alhamdulillah. Uh, so this program about uh, what they call this about uh, uh, fake, uh, usul fake. For example, these are all uh, you know uh, a way to understand uh, Al Quran eh? and Hadith in order to derive the benefit to derive the who the hukum. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Eh? Uh, the revelation eh? Al Quran. The concept of God creation, uh, the creatures of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. This alam, for example, uh, this uh, also this is very impo- important. From the word alam, this alam from com- comes the word ala alamat. What is alamat? Is address. Alamat is address. You know, when you write a letter, you put the address. You put the the address. Then comes the postman. You know, you know the letter brings the postman. To the owner of the address, huh? the letter. Postman bring the letter. Actually, the letter bring the postman to the owner of the the, eh, the address. So this world is alamat, ayatullah, the sign of Allah, alamat Allah. When we look at the alam, it should bring us like the postman. It should bring us to the owner, the ad of the address. The ah, the alamat, for example, but. Allah say, "La'allakum tatafakaru, la'allakum ta'kilun," because you have to think in order to to see. But if you don't think, you cannot you cannot see. For example, alam is the alamat or ayatu ayatullah. But with think thinking, with contemplate contemplating. For example, so uh, this is about God creation. Whatever happened, it is for us actually. When Allah create thing, it is for for us. Huh? They call this uh, tasheer, tasheer. Sakhara, sakhara means everything created by Allah actually for our our use, uh, for our our use of man and the psychology of human soul. Uh, this is very important, you know, to know about our ourselves. You know, you know how to make uh, how to make the the cat happy, how to make the cat happy. You must know about the. The, the the cat the nature of the cat what cat is but if, let, let's say this is a stupid uh, analogy you know let's say for example you do not know about the cat okay then you want to be the cat uh, happy and then you give the best 
maybe you give in Malaysia you give the the most expensive uh, durian uh, to the cat and uh, musang king or whatever you know the the most expensive to the cat and the cat look at the durian oh how could very stupid my what they call this my my own you know you know meaning that in order to 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 make the cat happy you must know the nature to know what make you happy you must know who you are if we do not know we make a lot of assumption and then at the end we got it and then we waste our time that it does not make us happy we think that the wealth make us happy then we got it ah it is not it, it does not guarantee happy happiness in one position we got it ah oh, at the end we come to the conclusion position does not guarantee happy happiness we waste already a, a lot of time because we make assumption but if we know who we are as told by allah our creator then we don't need to we don't need to make assumption we don't need to waste our time we know what make us happy then we can focus on on that uh, so so this question about who am i for example you know what is the purpose of our life for example what is our direction of our life that's very important important these are all answered by the islamic world world view uh, comprehensively comprehensively and uh, convincingly and convincing convincingly of knowledge knowledge ilmu for example uh, the, you know, the, the knowledge how you derive the, the knowledge how you know so islam uh, islam will be also uh, you know meaning that covered all all this you know so the level of knowledge for example the levels uh, you know the knowledge which which is haram for example and everything is being uh, uh, covered by the islamic world world view of religion ad-din so the word ad-din itself from the word dalia nun dain for example that for example so these are all uh, answered by uh, islamic world world view religion is very impo- important from the word din comes the word madi madinah uh, when the prophet moved to yasrid to yasrid and changed the 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 place from yasrid to become madinah for the word din madinah just been translated by some people as the city but actually the word madina derived from the word din which is a, you know a city that is founded based on really religion eh, based on really religion so what is religion from the word daya dalia no dain it is a debt our debt to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know if you go to uh, let's say uh, ibn manzur lisanul arab you can see you know four meanings of the word uh, dalia yeah no it means you know that re- that reflect the meaning of really religion you know how you know how particular especially the quranic lang- language when it talks about uh, certain certain things huh? about certain certain things that's why the the language of al quran is different from uh, ordinary lang- language that's why when when the prophet uh, recite the quran you know some people you know those who arab arab people they, they think that the prophet is majnun tihir for example because you know the beauty uh, the the richness of this uh, language <clears throat> and then the concept of freedom uh, freedom or the code is uh, what is freedom for example uh, is there is there total freedom for example is is there is freedom is limit limited for example So that need to be to to be discussed. You know, some people they they they, they say you no, know, Islam is not a Islam does not promise free freedom. So why is freedom? Freedom always come with the preposition from freedom from what? If you say we want freedom, we want freedom. The question is freedom from what? At the end, you come to the conclusion that. freedom from religion because actually for those who are away from uh, islam for example from religion religion put a lot of constraint you cannot do this this is haram this is you know then at the end they want to free themselves free themselves from what free themselves from really religion no of course you know this is not supposed to happen in in islam islam is uh, is our is is the true really religion that is sent by Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala to his messenger to be sent for us uh, for our bene- benefit it is suitable with our fit fitrah right? it is suitable with our 
fitrah. So Islam, uh, Islamic worldview define also, explain also what freedom is. And then about values and virtues. About values and virtues. Can, can uh, uh, values be uh, what they call this determined by akal? You know? uh, or is it simply based on Al-Quran and, and Hadith? These are, these are all these discuss what is good values and what is bad values for example these are all these discuss the west they mentioned they discuss about n value uh, means bad value these are all already in in is in islam uh, about n value and means value um, so then when we talk about means it is a uh, value that bring us to something that's means value when we talk about n value meaning that the value that we want to to achieve uh, <clears throat> so what about money money is mean means value it is not end value that's why you have a lot of money you will not arrive at the end because it is a means it is a, a means but if you wrongly convert the money into end value then you are in trouble because the money is the means value these are all uh, discussed uh, explained by is islam uh, in a proper proper way that's we need to start to study happiness this is very important What does it mean by happiness? Uh, what is the difference between uh, happy? You know, this in Islam actually the word uh, to reflect happiness, the most suitable word is sa saada, the opposite of shaka shakawa. Uh, uh, happiness means uh, sa saada. Saada means you know in in this life there are two things that happen. One musibah, uh, another one is uh, niak niakma uh, niakma. And ni'mah, but for those who are sad, both are good to to them, as the prophet said. Huh? Ajaban li amril mumin. It is very one. It is the wonder of the matters of the of the Muslim, of the mumin. Both are good. You know, uh, the musibah that happened to them also good, uh, and then the ni'mah also happened to them, uh, which is also good. How to make this too good? Number one, if it is musibah. They are patient, sabar, and if there are ni'mah, there are shakir. Eh? They are thankful to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. This only the Prophet say stress, stress. The Prophet stresses, the Prophet emphasize. This only happen to mu mu'min. They are always happy. Why? Because they have this passion and shakir. Eh? Uh, thank. Thankful to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Without this, without this, no, you know, you are in tra, in trouble. You know, you know, according to the, according to the uh, the the psychotherapists, the counselors, you know, there are many contributing factors to mental health problem. The most, and I want to tell you to remind all of us that the most, con, uh, uh, what they call this, uh, contributing factors to mental health problem is. This is the conclusion. There are many causes without denying. The most is the feeling of insufficiency. The feeling of insufficiency. Of course, life is not sufficient. If you will expect sufficiency only in para paradise. But there are a lot of ni'mah. وَإِن تَعُدُّ نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُخْسُوهَا But the problem what? What is the problem? We fail to thanks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To appreciate what Allah has given to to us, so this is about uh, happy happiness. Eh? About happy happiness. So the objective of Islamic uh, worldview. What are the objective of Islamic worldview? To provide the Muslim with the true. I I, I highlight the word true. Eh? I make it red. Eh? Very. This is very important. Islam based on truth. Uh, Knowledge and explanation. What is true? True means hundred percent. You know there are there are degrees of uh, uh, what they call this uh, uh, level of what they call this acceptance eh, of knowledge. Hundred uh, percent yakin. There is yakin. Yakin means hundred per hundred percent. Below yakin is uh, zon. Zon is uh, closer to yakin, uh, but uh, it is not hundred per hundred percent yakin. Uh, Zon is closer to to yakin, and then that we have shark. Shark is fifty fifty. Uh, you know, meaning that fifty uh, percent uh, yakin, fifty percent doubt. Zon, uh, maybe we can say seventy percent of yakin and thirty percent of doubt. 
and then we have waham. Waham is worse. Waham means um, uh, seven, maybe seventy percent of doubt and thirty percent of yeah. Okay, but yakin is hundred per hundred percent in the Quran. The knowledge that come from the Quran, uh, it is all yeah yakin, all yakin. Alif lam mim. ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه no doubt no doubt means يقين لكم إذا وقعت الواقعة إذا وقعت الواقعة ليس لوقعتها كذبة إذا وقعت when the kiyama happen you know in the Quran doesn't mention but you know uh, Uh, let's say for example imagine that if the kiyama happened if it doesn't happen it's okay no actually islam does not use that style huh? there is no in malay we call kut kut uh, there is no kut kut uh, kut means uh, doubt uh, in the in the quran al quran always mentions something up to the level of yeah yakin uh, you know uh, in the in the case of uh, crucifixion of jesus you know when the people look at the jesus being crucified and the quran used the word zan Zan means uh, they, he looks like uh, 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 Isa, the proper Isa, but the uh, Quran says no, it is not. Uh, his place is being replaced by someone, someone else. That's why the Quran used the word Zan. Zan means uh, yeah, uh, almost yakin, but actually it is not yeah, not yakin. Eh? Okay. To teach people the way and method how to achieve the main values of Islamic of Islam in human life. This is, uh, you know, objective. You know how to. Uh, what is the concept of good? What is the concept of bad? For example, what is a, a good ethics? What is uh, what they call this? Uh, what is unethical? So, uh, so Islam uh, has a very clear what they call this uh, guidelines and very clear explain eh? explanation eh? about the about values. Eh? We don't need to. We don't uh, what the causes depend simply on our assum assumption. Uh, all those guidelines are already clearly given by is Islam hmm, between what is good and what is is bad. Eh? And wabai nahuma uh, in the middle there are two things that is weak, and then is, uh, Islam say avoid the the weak eh, because uh, the weak might uh, uh, what the causes uh, uh, put you in the ha. In the haram, so but al halalu bayinun. The halal is clear, wal haram bayinun. But wa bayna huma umurun mushtabihah. They are the weak thing and avoid that weak things, eh? Because it may, uh, what it calls, will make you fall into ha, into haram. Eh? To establish the fundamental ethical precept such as justice, so the concept of justice very clear in mentioned in the Quran and Hadith, freedom. Trust, uh, ama, amanah. What does it mean by amanah? In dignity of human life and exist, existence, the murua uh, of human life and existence. These are all uh, explained uh, in the Quran and also the, uh, the hadith. To protect the five human interests, known as the five objective of Sharia. This is related also to fake letter. Maybe in the you know in one uh, uh, in other in the other module. This will be explained. Uh, so these are also the objective of Islamic worldview. That is to protect the five human interests, known as the five objective of Shari, Sharia, Makasi as Sharia. That is protection of religion, protection of self and nafs, protection of reason, akal, and protection of lineage and protection of wealth. Okay. So these are the five objective of of Shari. Sharia, which is also the object, the objective of uh, Islamic world worldview. Uh, I want to uh, stress that this arrangement is is fixed. Eh? Arrangement is fixed. Don't mess it. Don't mess it because in case of conflict, in case of conflict, uh, the highest is the priority, the priority. Let's say, for example, if there is conflict between religion and nafs, so the priority should be given to really religion. If there is conflict between the, what they call this um, self and akal, uh, then uh, then the priority should be given to what they call this to uh, to nafs, uh, protect uh, of our our life. That's why you know this anesthetic abuse or anesthetic 
some when someone is being uh, abused then he become unconscious meaning that the it dysfunction the the faculty of akal uh, in order to save life so it is a uh, it is allowed in those days we don't have uh, anesthetic we have uh, what they call liquor those who want to be for operation they are given liquor you know to drink then they become uh, somehow and then uh, to re- to to uh, protect from the the pain uh, to protect from from the pain so this one inshallah uh, this one will be dec- discussed in in fake also uh, in fake also okay uh, main characteristic uh, there are many uh, characteristic actually uh, of islamic world view which is also the characteristic of islam uh, so here uh, i list down a uh, few only which is the major the rest are also important um, but uh, this are among among the importance of uh, islamic world view the characteristic of islamic world view number one, rabbani rabbaniyah meaning that religion the uh, islamic religion uh, islamic world view derived from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from revela revelation so can we depend on mind yes i say can as long as it is in line with uh, revela revelation eh? in line with revelation and then we have a uh, comprehensiveness is very comprehensive alhamdulillah you know if you do not know ask those who do those who know uh, and you know uh, islam has all the un- the answers islam has all the un- the answers uh, for our pro- problem uh, for our problem and universality al alamiyah means it is islam is for all regardless of religion regardless of uh, skin colors regardless of language different language regardless of place time uh, islam is uh, suitable for for all uh, islam is for for all uh, it is not only for the arab it is for all uh, race races and uh, islam is based on moderation uh, at tawa at tawazun uh, at tawazun is uh, moder- moderation meaning that you know meaning that um, <coughs> Uh, you look at the uh, you know the best way uh, you know this is my advice to me and for a few you know it, whatever you want to do the best model is the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam if you do things against him for example ibadah spirituality wara you know you know sometimes some people you know they they go to the jungle to the mountain for example they spend their life there and then they feel happy you know they become close to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala look at the prophet the prophet is our model the prophet also practice uzla but the prophet knows his responsibility aman ma'ruf and nahi munkar the prophet jump into the society contribute to the society how could we think that we are good by isolating ourselves in the jungle in the cave and then we think that we are already already the best one no you know our our model is the pro the prophet look at the prophet look at his life he is kudwa hasa hasana the best more model sometimes we are being cheated by iblis to say that this is the best the best way but actually if it is against the prophet then it is not actually uh, the right the right way i think my time is already finished with that i end my session uh, hopefully uh, all of you be given the blessing to understand and to practice uh, uh, the no the knowledge billahi taufiq wal hidayah assalamu alaikum ورحمة الله وبركاته